prayers because God got this, has carried me through from then and still now. 11 years. When they released me to come home on August 28th of 2013, the doctor said they didn't think I was going to make it. They never once told me that in the beginning. So I, they fought with me, I fought with them, um, but I knew the God I served and didn't doubt it. You know, I refer to myself as a mini gangster in some, some places sometimes. Um, and I've been fighting a long time, and this journey was nothing less than that. A journey, a fight, a battle. And I think God has spared my life purposefully so that I can share and let people to know, yes, cancer is bad. It's not glamorous. I will tell you, there are things I have never shared in public. I'm saving for a book. This is my third speech for the week. So bear with me. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's not easy, but I know that, that from now until God takes my last breath, yes. I will continue to share the goodness of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm standing Amen. here before you. People don't realize that even after treatment, yes. you deal with things. I have lymphedema on my left arm. I took a white pill every day for 10 years. So my joints hurt, my back hurt, my knees hurt. I have the sickle cell trait, so you know that's doubled in the joint pains. Wow. But I step out in pure faith. Yes. Jesus is name. Every day. Yes. And I know God has me now. Yes. And he will continue to do so. Amen. I could sit down now. Patrick, I could sit down now. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Thank you, sis. This is a walk with faith. Uh, is there anyone that want to, uh, we kind of wind it down. Is there anyone wants to share anything uh, with a, a quick testimony, just a word of encouragement, anything. Anyone? If not, we move on. So after Sister Rosie, we're going to sing Have You Been to Jesus for His Cleansing Power. Bless, good morning Reflection, to and everyone. Then we done. So we're winding down. I am a breast cancer survivor from 1989. Amen. Amen. I went to Puerto Rico with my dad because he had prostate cancer. And I was supposed to come back home to go back down. And this was in September 1989. And so I said, instead of me going back to St. Thomas to come back, to Puerto Rico, let me go to my doctor. So I went to the doctor and I said, why this man keep feeling my breast up all the time? <laughs> and he said, I need to send you to another doctor because I feel a lump in your left breast. So I said, okay, okay. And God has been good to me, Amen. really good to me, and I give him the praise, yes. and I give him the glory. Yes. I didn't have chemo, but I had radiation, and yes. I had burn on my left and my right breast. Yes. But I always shake my head, and I always say, God, I know you've been in the midst of the situation, and you take me through it, and I give you praise, and I give you glory, and I give you honor. Yes. And then in 1990, my, I was at home, and the phone rang, and my son said to me, Mommy, 
come pick me up. I say, pick you up? Pick you up from, from where? He say, down by USO. I say, USO? He say, yes. We came in to help with Hurricane Hugo. And I am one of the sailors that is here an island. And I got in my car and I went down. And when I went down, he said, Mommy, get out of the driver's seat. I'm going to drive you. And I said, Thank you, Jesus. But my son was one of the 21 sailors. In 1990, December 22nd, I lost, I lost him. He, he was in to rescue and he went to Haifa, Israel and he was coming down and going up to help. And the propeller from the rescue boat caught him in <laughs> But God is still good. And I thank God for his grace and mercy. And I give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.
So we're going to have a period of reflection. We came today under the theme of forgiveness. We prayed forgive, about forgiveness. We had some wonderful testimonies about the goodness of God. So we want to just take a few min moments to reflect on have we forgiven ourselves? Have we asked God for forgiveness? Have we asked God to forgive others? Because sometimes we just dwell on, did someone forgive me? Did I forgive someone else? What about us forgiving ourselves and asking God to not only forgive us, us but other persons? So we are going to reflect on that quietly, and then we are going to recite all of us sections of Psalm 51, after which we will have the blessing song. And that would be it. So we're going to recite prayerfully, all of us, Psalm 51, verses 1 to 4, 6 to 7, and 9 to 11. Together. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified and your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, Therefore teach me teach wisdom me in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do, do not, not take your Holy Spirit from me. The blessing song. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Thanks for coming out, everybody. Next meeting is November 2nd, Saturday, November 2nd. Please don't forget the kitchen. They are ready for you. Blessings on everyone. I bring a friend next time. Thanks for coming.